fellas, how's it going? It's all Raptor Jesus here with another uh, overview of me kind of fixing up my great outdoors map a little bit. I think I'll start like adding things like ranches and mines and such on the zoomed in level. That'd probably be pretty handy. I gotta think about like good spots where I'd want to mine. Or maybe when I'm using the random table, any sort of like dwarf castle would be a mine that rolls up. Maybe I'll use that, that method at some point. I like using the, there's a section in the first edition DMG that has a lot of really good tables. And that's super handy if uh, you have no idea what kind of like campaign you want to do or if your players like decide to not go to the dungeon that you prepped and you can kind of like randomly generate uh, your own little campaign map as long as you have like uh, enough tools on hand and trying to make this uh, mountain more of a crescent moon side of blade. <laughs> mm -hmm. I sort of trust the the world of random generation a little bit and don't really try to change too much. Unless I feel like there's something I'd like. You know, more of like a, trying to put more of these little mountainous, like, forested areas here in the middle. I like to try to keep, like, the different forests uh, using these different icons. Try to keep them a little bit different, you know? At least when they're really close to each other like this. So it's good that World Augur has like a couple different uh, ways to simulate forests with the tokens. I find that really handy. Try to break things up a little bit, you know. Good selection of terrain. Yeah, I decided to make some pathways through these cactuses on this more zoomed in level. Kind of give the narrative walls a chance to escape a little bit more, I think. Those will be like salt flats and such. Or tundra. I suppose that's what those uh, white ones are represented. There's more tundra. I'm trying to make like a little pathway. For someone who wants to braid this like route for trade since there is a little bit of a, a mountain pass on each of this, each side but that's like more of a the dangerous route you know what I mean fellas not a very well developed trade route but, you know some people they're tough enough to take those ways 
make them a little bit extra coin. It's always good to provide those kinds of pathways, I think, for the adventurous, because it is an adventure game. I suppose the one I'm trying to run with D&D is more of a, I don't know what you would call it, probably something silly like Outlaws and Lawmen, Cops and Robbers. <laughs> I just looked at what kind of Western RPGs were available, and there's not a whole lot, to be honest with you, fellas. Except, you know, the old school Boot Hill. But that one's kind of like, not very experienced with that. I guess I'm more experienced with D&D, so. I'll just be a, a goofball and stick with just the one RPG system instead of trying something new. <laughs> I guess it's more of just I was wondering if you could actually use D&D to run a Western since there's so it seems to be so many similarities. I think it could work as long as you find a, a way to find the correct analogs for the different classes like there's necessarily going to be magic users and clerics running around but maybe you want clerics in your Western. I'm probably thinking something more along the lines of like uh, clerics being doctors that create medicine and magic users being inventors that make some sort of gadgets. So basically like uh, early enchanting, so probably some sort of like balance since they won't be able to like actively use spells and more has to be something that breaks down over time. And I hope you guys are liking these videos, and if you want to see more of this content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Alright, fellas? Hope you guys have a good uh, day today, alright? Alright, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?